Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux 2.0 on VMware Workstation. So this should work with VMware Workstation 8, 9, 10 and up, I'm pretty sure. So first I'm going to show you that this is actually working and I'm actually going to power on the virtual machine. So as you can see, it booted up to the login screen and for the username it says root, password is tor. And as you can see, this is Kali Linux 2.0. So everything is working, the terminal, the folders and everything. So let's get started. So first I'm actually gonna delete this virtual machine and I'm gonna show you right from the beginning. Okay, let's get started. First, what you want to do is look in the description of this video. All the links will be in the description. So once you're here, what you want to do is you want to find Kali Linux 32-bit version 2.0 and you want to download it. And this will only work with the 32-bit. So even if your computer is a 64-bit operating system, get the Kali Linux 32-bit. So I usually download the torrent because it's much faster than just downloading it from the website. So once your download is complete, what you want to do now is you want to go to your VMware workstation and the download is about 3.2 gigabytes. So it will take a while if you have a slow internet. So once you open up your workstation, what you want to do now is create a new virtual machine and you want to click on custom, click next workstation 10 or whatever one you have click next and you want to click on installer disk image file and you can want to click browse and browse for your iso of kali linux 2.0 so click on that click open and it's going to say cannot detect but that's okay just click next make sure this is linux and for version what you want to click is you want to click on debian 7 not the 64 bit and click next and now you're gonna name your virtual machine. So I'm just gonna name this Kaylee Linux 2.0. Click next. And for the number of processors, um, I usually just do two, click next. And for the RAM, I also do two gigabytes, next. And for the network connection, you wanna click use bridge network, click next, click next. Make sure this is on LSI logic, click next. Don't change anything here and create a new virtual disk. Click next and for the size I usually do 20 gigabytes but if you want more you can just move it up or down or just type it in but 20 gigabytes is okay for me and make sure split virtual disk is on click next click next and then click finish so once the settings is done what you want to do now is click on the power on this virtual machine now just click on the screen with your mouse and with your keyboard what you want to do is click down to install and click enter and you'll see this happening and your screen might turn black it's normal so just wait so what you want to do now is pick your language with the arrow keys and click enter click enter pick your whatever this is click enter and now it's going to start installing okay so to configure the network we don't want to do that right now so you want to click up on the arrow key to select go back and click enter now you want to click the left arrow key to go back and click enter. And what you want to do now is you want to click on set up users and passwords. So click down, click enter. And for the root password, um, you can make up your own password, but I usually just type in T O O R and then click enter and retype the password, click enter. So once you hear what you want to do is you want to click the down arrow key and just click continue, continue. And now it's going to ask for your time zone. So pick whatever time zone. Once you're here, partition disk. What you want to do is just click on guided use entire disk. Click enter, click enter, click enter, click enter. And now what you want to do is you want to write the changes to disk. Click the left arrow key and click yes. And now it's going to start installing the system onto your workstation. So this will take a bit. So just wait and go do something. Okay guys, so if this message popped up, what you wanna do is just click the up arrow key and click enter to go back. 
And now once you're here, what you want to do is you want to click down on the arrow key and you want to click on finish the installation. So now what you want to do is you just want to wait because it's going to take some time. Okay, now it's going to install the bootloader. So once you get this message, what you want to do is just click yes and click enter. And then what you want to do now is you want to click down on the arrow key and click on div SDA and click enter. And now wait for the bootloader to install. So once you get a message saying that you're done with your installation, just click enter to continue. Okay, so once the installation is complete, you'll end up with this login screen. And for the username, just type in root, R-O-O-T, enter. And for the password, T-O-O-R, or whatever password that you made, and click enter. So once you're logged in into your desktop, you can change the settings for your screen resolution right here. Just go up to the right hand corner, click on the down arrow and click on this tool and click on displays and click on unknown display. And now you can change your resolution. Click apply, keep changes. So as you can see, this is working. So that's it guys, that's how you get KLA Linux 2.0. So please share this video, give it a like, comments below. Thanks for watching. Please check out my channel. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.